Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. Indiana is one of the best states to do business, according to a recent CNBC study. The study ranks Indiana as 13 on its list, saying it's the least expensive state for businesses because of low taxes and generous incentives. But the study also found Indiana's workforce is among the worst. That's because Hoosier workers are some of the least educated in the nation, according to the study. A new law went into effect this week that expands access to an overdose drug that can instantly save a life. The drug is commonly known as Narcan and is an op opioid antidote that is delivered through the nose. It was previously only available to first responders, police, and addicts. Under the new law, doctors can issue Narcan to family or friends of those addicted to heroin or prescription pills. The bill also protects those people from prosecution if they administer the drug. Some Indiana police departments are still waiting to decide if they'll arm their officers with the drug. The Columbus Police Department has been using Narcan and says they've administered it nine times already this year. And if you're heading out this holiday weekend, experts say you should be on the lookout for ticks. Many areas throughout the country have reported higher than normal tick populations. They tend to live in tall grass and wooded areas, and experts say pets are at risk too. Hoosiers should be treating pets with tick prevention ointments, pills, or collars. Now let's take a look at your holiday weekend forecast tonight. A 20% chance of thunderstorms with a low of 62 degrees and partly cloudy skies. Then tomorrow for the 4th of July weekend, it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day out there, folks. A high of 82 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Sunday, another beautiful day in store, mostly sunny with a high of 85 degrees. Rain early next week. Thanks so much for joining us and have a wonderful holiday weekend.